In lecture two, we need to make an improvement to the code that we wrote in lecture one, specifically put car dot c. So let's put put car dot c into a new file called return dot c by doing a copy command, and then let's edit return dot c. All right, the central point is that your C code could be called by the operating system or by another piece of code that you wrote, and you want to know whether your code terminated properly or not. So the main function really should return some integer value. Generally, zero represents proper functioning of the algorithm, while non-zero represents that some error occurred. This has already been predefined for us in C with the values exit success and exit failure. Presumably, if we've made it this far through the code, we have successfully gone through the code. So we can return exit success. Exit success is defined in a so-called library, stdlib.h. We don't need to worry about what the definition of it is of exit success or exit failure because it's already been done for us. So if we compile this code, It functions exactly the same way as before, but now we have cleaned up the code and made it more proper in terms of standards. And that's it for lecture two.